Hello, I'm Lottie Whittingham from Matter Temple. I've got Morton from Cyrenia on Skype over the over the Skype. Sorry. Um, so, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And how are you? I'm very well, thank you. The sun's still shining, so that's nice. Yeah, sure. Hi. It's well here. It's been a bit cloudy today, but but still we can feel that spring is arriving. So that's always. Uh, Yes. Always a good feeling. It is the the start of like a fresh start, something new. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Um, just want to touch upon a few things with you today, um, including your brand new album. Um, the last album I listened to by Cyrenia was the Thirteenth Floor when Aileen joined the band, and I hear I can definitely hear the develop. I can definitely hear her vocal ability that's developed. Would you sort of agree with that? Or uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, we have been working together for quite some years since uh, since then, since the Thirteenth Floor album, and um, I think that we've been able to uh, improve a lot uh, since that time. Um, it was the the Thirteen Floor was the first album that we did together, and uh, so you know, but our cooperation was fresh. We didn't really have any um, previous experience to rely on, uh, so to speak. Uh, I remember that when when the audition finished and and she was. Uh, a part of the band, she was more or less thrown into the studio. It was like there was yeah. no time for anything. So one one day she was announced uh, the new singer of Serenia, and the next day she was in the studio started recording the song. So uh, at that album, we we really didn't have time to think about things and, and to play around. We just had to get straight down to business and and, and start recording. So and. Uh, sure. uh, the circumstances in mind, I think that we we came out of it really good, and she she really did a nice job for her first album. But yeah. but as we got this uh, experience together, working together for several years, I think that uh, she has been uh, been able to to improve a lot of things, and uh, so have I uh, with my compositions and everything. And and yeah, I think that we are. Uh, a band yes. at this point that yeah we, we took some quite some steps uh, compared to that album in okay. my opinion. Okay, uh, I was just also wondering because you are quite a man with the instruments, aren't you? With like you play a lot of the instruments on the album. Um, I was reading a previous interview from actually Metal Temple that did with you two years ago and they said you recorded a lot of your tracks in your own studio. Was it like that this time round as well? Uh, yeah, that was actually the case um, this time also. Uh, most of the material has been recorded in my studios. Uh, all the vocals, most of the instruments uh, I did. I did only a few additional recordings in Sound Studios in France. Yeah. I went there to to record the choirs and also the acoustic guitars, but uh, but all the rest is uh, is recorded here in Norway in my own studios and okay. and finally uh, the album was mixed and mastered in in Dub Studios in in yes. Oslo, Norway. Cool. 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 Um. You're saying that you you come together. You seem to now you've come together as a band. I definitely heard a lot of a bigger sound on this album than. I mean, I'm not saying I didn't like the Thirteenth Floor. That's a great album. But then I th thought there was a there was something different about this one. Yeah, I think so too. It's it's definitely um, both uh, albums represent uh, Serenia. Uh, musically at their own different stages in our career and uh, uh, when at the time when we released the 13th floor we has always put a lot of effort into it and at that time we were really happy with the result and I think uh, I still think it's uh, it's a good album but uh, but for sure uh, when 
when we compare it to uh, the new album, there's um, um, there's a lot of differences. I can hear that the band as a whole has I- improved quite a lot, and also we musically we are at a different place now. Uh, at the 13th floor, I was really focusing on on writing uh, more simple structured songs, really catchy songs, uh, you know, with, with hooky melodies that kind of sticks to your head and, and stuff like that. I was really focusing a lot on the melodic part, while while these days I'm writing longer songs and more intricate uh, yeah. arrangements. And uh, yeah, it's 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 Definitely. quite too different kind of styles actually if, if we compare the songs on the new album to the songs on the 13th floor it's um, yeah yes. two quite different things that we, we try to do yes definitely I can de- no absolutely um is that um particularly I could because a lot of I think there was a couple of the tracks that were sort of longer as well and uh, like you say more more intricate and was there a particular track, or do you have any particular favourite tracks on this new album? Uh, <coughs> to me, to me, they are all favourites, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I try to, um, yeah, put as much as time and energy into every song, and to make everyone, every song kind of needs to earn their respect and earn their place on the album in a way, and. I had a lot of material to, to choose from, so uh, it was like the best tracks, in my opinion, that, that got a space on the on the album. But um, if I have to mention um, a few songs, I, I really like the uh, the second song. It's called Serpent. Uh, the first track is obviously just just an intro. So uh, the Serpent uh, is kind of the, the first song real song on the album i thought it was a good song to yes to open the album with because uh it has all of the typical serenia ingredients uh, yeah. you know with all the different vocals the growling the the choirs the female vocals and uh, it's you know it's a dynamic song it has the quiet parts the aggressive parts the groovy parts a little bit of everything so yeah. I thought it was a cool song to have in the beginning to kind of, you know, as soon as the fans start listening to the album, they will hear uh, pretty fast, you know, where we are at musically yeah, today. Course. And uh, yeah, I think that's a very, so it's a groovy, energetic song, very powerful, it's quite melodic and stuff. Um, I also really like uh, uh, a song called... Um, Totally still, I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I really. <laughs> you know, at, at this point, I, I still have all the, the working uh, the working titles in my head. Not oh really? really? Oh, of course, to the, yeah. To the to the real, uh, real yeah, titles. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, um. Yeah, the opening track, I definitely, there's a definite <coughs> eeriness to it. I really like, it's a good way. Um, I really like the tracks Elixir and Arendelle. Arendelle, particular. is that how you say Yeah, Arendelle was actually the, was actually the song I was searching for the, for the, for the, for the title. I only remember the, the oh. working title in my head, but <laughs> I really like that song. It's a, a different kind of rhythm. I'm not yeah. sure how to pronounce it in English in, in Norwegian it's a different story uh, yeah. but the, the kind of groove that the song has and it's also uh, I think it's a song that it's it's very typical for Serenia in the past maybe it's like with this song it was like revisiting the past for me uh, I think the song is, is quite similar to uh, music that we were putting out in the very beginning of okay. our career, maybe on, on the two first albums. Sure. So I definitely think that the Serenia fans that, you know, um, they really like what we did in the very beginning. I think they're mm-hmm. going to to really like that uh, specific song. So 
to me it's it's a kind of a nostalgic song in a way as it really reminds me of the past and makes me feel um 15 years younger when (laughs) (laughs) absolutely it's a a nice one and we also i could also mention the song called tragedy end at the end um it's a ballad and it's not very often that serenia makes a ballad for any of our albums so I think also it's it's a quite uh, quite special special song, yeah. quite different to what we've done in the past, maybe. So uh, yeah, I think yeah, those three songs are. Yeah. If I had to pick somebody, that would be. A uh, sort of yeah, tragedy. Tra- I can't even say it now. Tragedy. This the no, it's the last one. Tra- yeah, that's a really that I really like that one too. It's really. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a little bit of a sucker for power ballad. Well, not power ballads, but a little ballady tracks. So yeah, I like those. So. Yeah, yeah, I really like it. <laughs> I love yeah. power ballads too. And growing yeah. up with the with the music from the early nineties and yeah. late eighties and stuff. So <laughs> although it's, it's a bit, it's a bit different, but it's it, yeah. you know it's still like a metal ballad. So I get yeah. a bit of the same vibe. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, sh- I'm sure there are ver- most battleheads can admit to liking a, a ballady type, even though they don't always say it. <laughs> but I'm sure they there are some. Um, what's the re- the press reception been like for this new album? Because it's out next month, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I think the the first release date was on the eighth of May, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Sure. Um, and uh, yeah, we've gotten a lot of uh, a lot of good uh, uh, response so far. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that the new album is um, it's a, it's a strong album, but it's it's also a kind of album that I think uh, the people they need to listen to it a, a couple of times to to kind of really get into it. I don't think it's like the typical album that you, you listen to it the first time and you immediately immediately really, really love the album. I think sure, it's yeah. more a kind of an album that you need to listen to four or five, maybe six times, and then you really get to to understand the music and, and really get into yeah. into the songs. And uh, in my opinion, I think that's a, a good thing because uh, at least in my experience that that means that um, you will not easily get tired of the songs. You know, the, the album that needs to grow on you are yes. very often the kind of albums that you will uh, listen to for for many many years to come. So it's mm. uh, it's one of the things that I went for with this album, and uh, I have a feeling that it is kind of this type of album. I, I really hope it is, and. Uh, uh, but I think if the fans they listen to it the first time and they don't really get the the wow yeah. wow sensation, uh, I I just like you know to give it a, a few more chances to listen to it a couple of times and uh, I think that the album will definitely grow on on the listener. Yeah, fan, that's fantastic. Ah, oh, that's a good that's a good thing to know for the fans. That's good. Um, if I wasn't sure if in all in. I say in Britain we call that a grower. I'm not sure if that's the same in Norway. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Yeah, I understand. A grower. Totally <laughs> <laughs> also, it's also a good way to uh, when you say about listening to the album a few times. If you've got some live shows coming up, it's a good way to familiarise yourself with the new songs before going to see your shows. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I also personally, I also. Also prefer, you know, to when I go to to see the the bands that I like, uh, to have heard the um, heard the songs before and, and get to know the songs and love the songs be, before I go and see them live. It's yes. I was not the, the kind of guy that was really into the idea of, of the bands performing brand new material that yeah. that nobody heard before. I always liked more when they you know they performed the songs that uh, the classic the the songs that. You know, everybody knew Absolutely, from before, yeah. gave me the, the greatest live experience. Yeah, so I think I think we all like a good sing along. When we go to shows, to sing along to our favourite songs live, and then when they come up, they spring new ones up on you. So like, whoa, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> um, um, aside from Dames of Darkness, are there are you Sirenia planning on any other? 
sh tours or festival appearances for 2015? Yeah, we, we have uh, more festivals uh, in the works. Uh, I think we will uh, will announce uh, announce them pretty soon. We are closing more contracts these days, so uh, yeah. yeah, I would just uh, advise uh, our fans to check in our web in on our websites every now and then to. Absolutely. To, to see uh, to check out the stuff as we will announce more shows and, and concerts in the yeah. near future. Just for a touch upon a few general issues, um, sort of like we so really a bit. Oh, sorry for stating the obvious, fronting because there's been a lot of debate now. Female fronted woman, if the term's harmful or not. What's your general view on the term female fronted metal? I was uh, never the kind of person who was really uh, analyzing, you know, what what kind of band yeah. is this, what genre is that, uh, and so on. But you know, f female founded metal is, in my opinion, obviously a, <laughs> a metal band with a with a female yeah. singer. And, uh, you know, it's at the time when uh, when I began uh, making the kind of music that I still make. It was. I guess in 1994, uh, 1994, 1995 or so, and uh, you know this this kind of style of music, this gothic metal, you know, with with all the classical ingredients, with the female vocals, choirs, and stuff like that. There was yeah. hardly hardly anyone playing that kind of music, yeah. and and also even a female singer in in the metal music was a really really rare thing. Um, but over the years, uh, I've seen this genre uh, getting more and more big, and uh, although it, it, it never really got it got huge, like you know, like normal rock or, or mm. like power metal or or, uh, or these genres, but it, it got big in the sense that these days there are tons tons of female fronted bands out there. Yeah. Uh, but I feel that the, the, the gothic metal, the genre, it, it never got to be as big as, as some of the other genres. But yeah, cool. I think there definitely is a, a big, big interest for it. And there's a yes. lot of bands out there now. And uh, I think it's good. I, I really think that we need, um, need the diversity. We need a lot of, of variation. And, the variation is always good, and, uh, and I think it would be really boring if there was only <laughs> one or two two types of or styles. Yeah, of exactly. In my opinion, it's it's cool. With uh, the more different styles, the better. Absolutely, definitely, and uh, just to sort of round up, um, sort of talk about because like I said, you play a lot of instruments. Do you have any sort of personal musical influences, and why? you decided to sort of play or, or learn all these different instruments. Cause you play a lot, from what I see. Yeah, I've been uh, playing a bit of a different, all different kinds of instruments uh, yeah. over the year, and to me, it's really, really inspiring. It's it's really fun. And music, it's my hobby, and it's my work at the same time. It's my it's a huge passion in my life, you know, it's what I really love spending my time with and and being able to, to play more instruments makes me uh, able to do more th things, especially as a composer, I think uh, it uh, just switching back and forth between different instruments sometimes give me a lot of um, inspiration and it it can easily trigger new ideas and you know if I've been working with guitar stuff for a few days and I kind of you know come to a point where okay where to go next yeah. then I just switch and I I, I pull, pull out a keyboard and start with some orchestrations or or whatever and, yeah. and then you know new ideas comes to my mind and I can continue working and and, and so on so uh, to me it's, it's been really it's been a kind of a really inspirational thing to to yeah. be able to to work with a, a lot of different instruments. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Morton. It's been an absolute pleasure.
I apologise yeah. for the house phone earlier. It was nice talking to you and no, yeah. no worries about the phone. <laughs>